Welcome to the Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and we have a ton of sneakers lined up for you this week. From runners to retros, I think there's a little something for everyone. It's time for us to show that heat, that this weekend will be on your feet. It's the Heat Check. Let's kick things off right away with the runners, and this week, a ton of spring blade razors will be hitting the shelves at finish line. Rocking those 16 individually tuned blades, the Razor will be available for both men and women looking to get a little more energy return for their run. For the men, they will arrive in four colors and the same goes for the women. Both men and women pairs are priced at $180. Heat check. Moving from runners to retros, it looks like Reebok Classics is pulling a classic out with the signature for the Rain Man. Worn by six-time NBA All-Star Sean Kemp, the Kamikaze One was his first signature sneaker and if you look it up online, you'll probably see him dunking on somebody in a pair. The color stays true to the team he played with at the time, the Seattle Supersonics, and the black, green, and white stripes on the upper bring the Rain Man back to life. Look for these to release on the 17th. Heat check. Since we're talking about basketball, let's take a look at the next shoe in the Kobe Prelude lineup. The Kobe 7 takes Kobe's gold medal into account and uses cubist art for the upper. Now beneath the skin of the Kobe 7, we see various storytelling designs, including the Mamba himself and his Olympic jersey number 10. Of course, these are going to be super limited and will release for $200 this weekend. Heat check. As 2014 gets underway, Jordan Brand is taking more chances with color. For this weekend, it's gonna be the Air Jordan 3. Not seemingly tied to any particular moment in Jordan's career, though it could be tied to UNC, the model features an all over powder blueprint that is accented with black on the ankle, mint sole, and laces. Now there is also a touch of cool gray added in to lighten things up a bit, with the final touch being the lovely elephant print that stretches from the heel to the toe. You can look for these to release this weekend in all sizes with the men's version releasing for $100 and $70. Heat check. Now for those of you with the Connect overseas, you'll be happy to know that the New Balance collab with Mita is set to release this weekend as well. Now the military inspired design was created by old school customizer Sabotage, but unfortunately there is no word if this New Balance 580 will hit any accounts in the US. Heat check. Jordan Brand has been treating the grade school crowd pretty well lately and it looks like they're going to get some more love this weekend with the Jordan 6 rings. Playing with a little bit of color here, the Jordan 6 rings will release in a pretty cool looking white, legion red, and black colorway. Again, this is only for the grade schools, but for those of you with bigger feet, no need to worry because a version of the 6 rings is also releasing for the men this weekend as well. The colors are black, atomic orange, and wolf gray, and the model has plenty of elephant print that extends from the toe to the heel. And just so all of you guys know, the Jordan 6 rings is actually a hybrid sneaker, and it's made up of the 6, the 7, the 8, the 11, the 12, the 13, and the 14. Heat check. Nike has been bringing back some pretty cool kicks as of late, and this weekend it looks like it's going to be the Nike Air Up. Back from 1994, the model isn't a signature shoe in the way that we think of them, but Penny did rock these all of the time and made them pretty popular back in the day. The model features a wavy mix of black and white panels and a slightly glossy Game Royal Nike swoosh on the side panel that screams Orlando Magic. You can look for these to hit this weekend for $140. Heat check. All right, guys, let's take a look at some of the shoes that are releasing this weekend over at Finish Line. First up, we have the Adidas Spring Blade Razor. Now, this shoe is going to release in a ton of different colors for both men and women, and it's actually available right now for $180. Switching over to the retro side of things, we have the Reebok Classics Kamikaze One. This is in the white, black, and green colorway, and it is the first signature shoe of Sean Kemp. Next up, we have the Jordan 6 rings. Now these are available in two different colorways. One is for the grade school size, and the other one is for the men. So you can check that out when it drops on Saturday. And also from Jordan Brand, we have the Air Jordan 3 in the powder blue colorway. Has powder blue over the, all of the upper, and then there's the elephant print on the heel and on the toe. Finally, we have the Nike Air Up. Now this isn't a Penny Hardaway signature shoe, but he did wear the shoe a lot and made it quite popular. And you can cop these this weekend for $140. Heat check. Of course, that isn't everything that's dropping this weekend. We also have the New Balance collab with Mita that was done by Sabotage. That's dropping overseas, so if you know someone overseas, that's probably the only way you're going to get a pair of those. And finally, we have the Kobe Prelude 7. This one is going to be $200, and as with the rest of the pack, this one is going to be pretty limited, so you're going to have to stay on your toes if you want to grab those. Heat check. Well, it looks like that's going to be it for the show today, but as always, want to thank you guys for watching. Definitely appreciate it. If you haven't already, look down in the description because there's links to all of the shoes that I talked about in the video today. Also, if you haven't, why don't you like and subscribe? That way you know whenever a new episode of The Heat Check hits this channel. Well, I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is The Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and I will see you soon. Peace.